Hi everyone, in this video we'll be showing you how to set a sleep timer when listening to Apple Music, both on Android and on iOS. And specifically for iOS, I also have a very useful shortcut, which will make it even easier to fall asleep with just one tap on a button. Let's go. Now the feature that we show today in Apple Music is also present in Spotify. So if you just go to Spotify and then you're playing, let's say, a song, then you can tap on the three dots on top. And at the bottom over here, you have got something called Sleep Timer. And then you can choose 5, 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, 1 hour, or the end of the track. Now actually, Apple just recently added this feature here to Apple Music on Android. So let me just show you over here. Go to Apple Music. And then when playing the song, you can just tap here in the three dots. And at the bottom here, you can see sleep timer. So just tap on sleep timer. And then you can choose between 15 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, or one hour. Let me just show you here 15 minutes here as an example. And they can see here sleep timer is set for 15 minutes. And if you tap on three dots again, you can see there's a timer right now counting down 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, your music will stop playing. Now at the bottom, you, can, you also have some more options. You can choose even when current song ends, let's say if this song is long enough for you to fall asleep to, or when the current playlist ends. So that is how you set it on Android. Currently in iOS, if you go to the music app and we play some music and you tap here in three dots, just like you do on Android, you can see here you have many options, excluding the one that we're looking for right now, which is the sleep timer. That one isn't here right now. So uh, currently it isn't built in. I would hope it will come one day in the future. Uh, so there are two options. Either we go with a shortcut that I'll show you in a second, or we do it manually. So you've probably heard of this already, but I'll just show you uh, just in case you haven't. You have to go to the clock app. So just go here to clock. And you have to go to timer. And over here, you can set an amount of time. Let's say well, 12 minutes, for example. And then when timer ends, instead of having here a, an alarm sound or something, you can change this to stop playing here all the way at the bottom. So just tap here and stop playing and then hit set. So every time you play music, you just tap here and start with timer on, stop playing. And now if you, if you play some music, after the timer ends, the music will stop playing. Now this would mean that every night before going to sleep, you will play some music, and then you go to the clock app, then set the timer to do your amount of minutes, click start, then close your phone, put it away, and then you can fall asleep. That doesn't really take much time, but it is something that we could make even shorter by using shortcuts. Now, let me just show you what I mean. So here I have a shortcut, a custom shortcut that I made. I'll tap on this. Now playing some music for 17 minutes. Good night. Okay, and now the music is starting to play here in the background. So let me just show you here on my lock screen. It started, it was playing already and my timer is counting down. My timer has already been set to um, when music ends. So that's something that I only set up once. I don't really use my timer for anything else. Uh, so that's already set. And the only thing now is it just counts down. And then after that amount of time, my music will start, will stop playing. Now I will show you how to make this shortcut in detail so you can customize it the way you want. So let me go here to shortcuts. So in shortcuts, you can go tap here on the plus button. And the first thing we'll do is we will have, of course, play the music. So tap here and play music. Now, if you don't find play music over here, you can just go to add action. Then you might see some suggestions. So over here, I can see it again here, but I can tap on apps, go down to music, and then here it will again have, give me some suggestions or it will give a few options. Let's say here, create a playlist, get a playlist and so on. No, the only thing you need to do is tap on play music. Now you have music, which is a bit grayed out. Tap on music. And now you can choose a certain playlist or a certain song you'd like to play. And I'll just choose here my playlist of the year. Tap like this and I tap on the plus all the way on top. So going to play my playlist when tapping that shortcut. But I also want to stop my music after a certain amount of time. So we can just tap on the X and now we have this menu again. Um, over here, you can also just type to search for things. I need to type timer like this. And I can tap here on start timer. And you can see here start timer for how many minutes? So for me personally, it usually takes just 12 minutes. 12 minutes seems to be enough. I fall asleep after like eight minutes or something. So you can tap here five, you can change it to something else. I'll take 12 this time. Done. Let me just change the name over here on top. Rename. 
and I can just say sleep. And if you tap on the icon over here, then you can choose a nice color, your favorite color, let's say this, and they can choose an appropriate um, icon, something that you'd like. Personally, I will go here with the moon. Okay, so now to make it very easy to access, you can now just press here on share and then add to home screen. You can still customize it if you want and then hit add. So what will happen now is if I will tap here on sleep, it will run the shortcuts. Okay, let's have a look. It's now playing music and it will stop in 12 minutes. Now to have it really work as a timer, it's very important to set your clock app. Let me just go here to my clock app. To set the clock app to indeed stop playing. So go here to timer, then you can have here when timer ends, instead of giving you a certain ringtone, go all the way to the bottom and choose stop playing. For me, this is default. So that's what it's always set to. That's why this works. If you do change it now and then, don't forget to set it back. Otherwise you will wake up after 12 minutes instead of falling asleep. Okay, now I just want to add a little extra to this shortcut because right now if I tap on sleep and just lock my phone, I will not really sense that it's really working unless I look at my phone. So what I'd like to add is a kind of like an audio response. So if you go here to shortcuts again and you edit your sleep timer or your sleep uh, yeah, shortcut, you can also say, you can also have Siri say something. So let me just say, say, okay, speak text apparently speak text and then you can add your own text so what i'll say is sleep timer set good night and yes i'm wishing myself good night so that's it done and if you want you can even add some more options if you tap on the little uh, arrow over here you can see this you can change the rate you can change the language and the voice and so on now i'll just set this i'll just move this all the way on top so this will play first, then the music will play, and then the timer will be set. And then hit done. Okay, again, sleep, just turn this off. That's it. If I just tap to check, you can see here, timer's on, and my music is playing. Okay, so that is how you set a sleep timer when using Apple Music on Android and on iOS. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.